You are a busy, modern individual. You have meetings to attend, friends to see, a life to live. Who can afford to waste any time? Especially when transferring contacts from your iPhone to Outlook. You could type them in one by one. But we here at CopyTrans have a quicker and easier solution. CopyTrans Contacts. Hi guys, Thomas here with CopyTrans team. And in this video, I'll show you how to use CopyTrans Contacts to transfer contacts from your iPhone to Outlook. First, download CopyTrans Contacts. If you need help doing this, click on the link in the description that will take you to a video that will show you how to download and install CopyTrans programs. Once it's downloaded, open CopyTrans Control Center if it is not already open. Then click Start next to CopyTrans Contacts. Now connect your iPhone and wait for your data to be fully loaded. Your contacts will appear. If you want to transfer all contacts, click on the box next to contacts. But in this video, I only want to transfer the Incandenza family. So I search for Incandenza. You can click on the names individually if you want to transfer only a select few. Say if I only wanted to transfer Hal and Doran, I would click on their names. But for this video, I want to export the entire Incandenza family. So I click the box next to Contacts. Then click on Export Selected. Now we want to export to Outlook, so choose Outlook. Now in the next window, select the Outlook Contact folder. Usually this is your default Contacts folder. If you're worried about importing duplicates, click the box next to Search for Duplicates. Then click OK. When it finishes, all your contacts will be exported. A few notes though. On corporate networks, this step may take some time since Outlook searches all folders. Also, if a warning message appears, check the box next to Allow Access and set it for at least one minute. When you navigate to Outlook, you will see your contacts just as you remember them. And you can use the time you saved using CopyTrans Contacts for something fun. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And like always, I'll see you in the next video.